Hello, welcome to part seven of the this tutorial series. In this part, uh, we'll be creating a leaf texture uh, from Speed Tree. So the first step is to create an HD texture for the leaf. Uh, for this, uh, we will specifically use some tools in Speed Tree and use the downloaded high-res leaf textures from Megascans. So we will combine all the different channels in the texture, uh, which we downloaded from Megascans, and create an HD leaf texture. Then finally, we will export the leaf texture from Substance Designer and test it in Speed Tree. So let's get started. As a first step, we will I will show you some references we collected. Uh, so, so from um, from a, from the perspective of games, uh, we cannot just just make uh, make some some tree branch uh, look like this. The problem with the with this is that the branches are like going all all the way throughout the te te uh, texture. So if if you, if you look at this this example right here, uh, this is uh, better than what you see here and here. So this one is uh, is is almost like we cannot use it or use this kind of uh, this this kind of design for the branches. This is also not very good. So this could be used uh, because the, the the branches are going all the way to the side. You can see them like branching out, and you have plenty of space in between. Uh, so the idea is uh, so idea behind using this kind of branch setup is because this section. If you look at this section, I can actually separate this as as one alpha. I can separate this as one alpha. I can separate maybe if I get like some gap here, I could use this as a separate alpha. And and even even this one can be used as a separate branch. So why I'm separating this? Uh, the the idea behind this is like you will have only one texture to use to build the entire tree. So you'll have to build uh, all the leaves from from one texture uh, one leaf texture so if you have uh, the more uh, branch variations you have in it the the more variations you can bring into the final leaf uh, so this kind of uh, this this kind of spacing in between is uh, is really important to get that effect so by spacing i mean should have some empty space in between which we can can use to cut down you know uh, to to make triangles like if i'm if i'm if i'm building a leaf texture out of this i'll be uh, let me get a straight line so i'll be making a triangle like this another triangle here another triangle here another triangle here another triangle here so we only have some cards um to to make use of so that could be one one card another card could be like this uh, look at the number of uh, triangles I'm, I'm 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 having here so keep it to the lowest so that is like one two three triangles here three triangles so so total i have six and if i have a gap here i could use this branch like going like that going like that going like that cut some leaves here and just close it back to here and here again i'll have about uh, three triangles so i have totals uh, nine triangles here so for this branch, it will be just one, two, maybe three and um, four, something like that. So in 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 total, again, just get away with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven triangles for the entire branch. So the the tree can easily become very dense. So if you're not uh, if you're not careful, uh, you can lose lo lose a lot of time. So that is the that is the idea for a uh, for making a branch. So what kind of branch could have could be better, uh, could be the most effective, and uh, stuff like that. So now let's uh, now I will show you a an, an HD HD texture I made in Speed Tree. So this is uh, this is one one texture I did for the tree which I was showing you before in the in the previous part. So this so this so this actually Rend, uh, rendering from one one uh, side view viewport. So if I go to perspective, 
it is like this so the whole the whole branch is like spreading across the perspective just facing only in one direction of the camera so i'll be rendering this from from this x y x y plane sorry x z plane uh, so i can get a get a flat texture out of this so if i go to uh, render material just color that will be the color map i'll be exporting i can export in different channels so then opacity is like the alpha mask on it then i can go into uh, different channels like normal will look like this now this this entire normal is uh, getting we are getting from uh, the leaves are coming from the texture from mega scans and the trunk i use the same same trunk we we built in the previous tutorial scale it down and tiled it and uh, using it here then i have another channel like uh, then subsurface uh, so here specular means uh, it is the roughness so we only have roughness for the leaves but but that's okay we can actually tweak it in designer at a later, at a later stage so that is pretty much it about uh, the about making the leaf uh, leaf hd texture and and we'll be and we'll be saving this as uh, as separate channels then Im importing that into substance and we'll go and make go ahead and make the final texture so i will do this as a separate scene we're going to a blank uh speed tree document nothing is there i'll just pl press 4 to remove this circle then i'll just uh, move and change this to portrait only addition because that, that, that that's the way i like to work on now first of all we need a uh, we need to bring in the textures so go to materials uh first i will bring in a bark texture which we did then another one is the leaf so this is like uh, i can use leaf hd just name it as um, leaf underscore hd so where did i get this te uh, texture how did i uh, download it so if you go to mega scans uh and just for this specific tree i'm actually going for something like a rounded one uh so in the concept if you download it i got some references for this specific tree uh the leaves are mostly like round but i'll be changing the pattern of, of, of how they are arranged uh because i'll be going i'm not going with the realistic style for the exactly similar to this tree no i'll be making my own design for this but that's fine it's based on your own concept whichever way you want to work that is fine uh now go into mega scans and here uh, search for uh, under under atlases tree leaf uh search for aspen and this is aspen and it has uh, mega scans give you give, give, gives you all the clean uh, renders so i down, downloaded that at uh, at 4k resolution and i brought it into speed tree so in speed tree we are going to get the color map first so getting all the all the textures is the first step uh, so vegetation uh, trees so it is tree leaf uh, zero one no it is tree leaf zero two so we got albedo uh, then yellow is the one i actually i slightly color changed so so i'll show you how it is done later then we have, we have a normal opacity and roughness that's all we need so the uh, get, uh, get the albedo first then the opacity from the same folder opacity then normal from the same folder they get all of those uh, then close specular specular is uh, roughness uh, that's pretty much it now we are going to save this as uh, i'm just going to save it uh, under uh, so vegetation so so th those is our content folder uh under meshes vegetation trees uh, texture i think not meshes texture vegetation trees um source hd te textures hd leaf so here i'm going to save it as uh, hd leaf 
test over. So I'm just saving it as, uh, as a speed tree file. Then I go into, oh sorry, I changed. So I'm just going to leave. Sorry, I did that for, I don't read it. So this is bark. So this is the a leaf HD. I go to bark. Uh, I need to get the bark textures we did. So under textures, I can directly get the bark. So for this uh, specific tree, we are getting a, we are only using the tallable portion of the texture. Uh, just get. Poultry, bark, tiling, uh, base color. That is just the tiling part of the, the texture we did. Uh, I just I just separated that in the inside designer. So the the unique part is not here in this specific texture. Uh, then there is no opacity. It's just normal. Uh, get it from the same folder. Poultry, bark, tiling, normal. Then we need uh, the roughness. No tiling roughness. So, so that's all we need for the bark. Save it. Now go to the leaf HD and change it to two sided. So, why we need two sided is like leaves are always rendered as two sided because they have, a, they have alpha. So, we cannot add geometry to it. So, the best way is to uh, render it as, uh, as two sided. Now we will start. So first thing we need is to add a trunk tube. So this trunk tube can be really small. We don't need this big. Uh, just go to spine and reduce the absolute value to about maybe uh, five meters. Just keep it at, at, at five for now. Then, uh, then we are going to work in the side view. So I'm just going to hide the height indicator and go to perspective viewport then xz plane so this is what what we'll use basically to build the whole branch because we'll be rendering it side sideways anyways so i think we need more height for this so i expect this to be up to here somewhat so go to spine and increase absolute value we make it like uh, up to here somewhat let me just rename it as so if you press f2 uh, this re re rename dialog will come up trunk just 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 name it trunk maybe main or something it doesn't matter what name you're giving it uh, trunk main and give it a material uh, so we are going to give it bark so that is the bark texture now we're going to uvs and use u locked v un unrestricted so what we'll get is like we'll get a nice nice tiling for the entire board now we are going to save so always keep saving it you can even change the lighting so if you if, if you hold down uh, v on the keyboard and uh, slide with the left mouse button you can see the light moving okay now we are going to go, uh, going to go into wireframe mode so we're going to render scribed Subscribe is like a, like a wireframe or, or, or again plus uh, press control 2. So control 1 is color, control 2 is wireframe or you can call it scribed. Now we need to get to get some um, twist and turns to it. So this 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 uh, tree trunk is not going to be used uh, in the game. So there is no no need to keep it uh, as a low poly mesh. You can actually go crazy on uh, the segments so I just increase the relative uh, length segments and uh, increase the rad radial segments too so now now it is like going into crazy amounts now it's very dense now next thing we need to do is uh, we need to find some you know um, uh, variation to the trunk so what you can do is go to trunk main, go to spine, 
under this noise. So give it a little bit of early noise, so it will slightly bend. It is bending in the other direction, but that is perfectly fine. Increase the late amount. You can give it some twist and turns. Increase the uh, play around with the turbulence and all. Now, what gives a tree the character is, I mean, this branch the character is this curve. So click on this curve, open it, and double click on the curve to get a, a point. Just move it and just find something like uh, like very like interesting so we can I move it like really high up I'll get a different pattern and if I just keep it uh, keep the value like you know turbulence uh, no keep it as uh, low to be point one turbulence increase this amount and play around with the curve so this so, so this curve defines uh, where it has to have that effect so the bottom I'm just keeping it low and increasing this if you double click on this you can get a smooth smooth curve depending on how you want this to move just keep just uh, just keep uh, keep playing with it until you find something you like also you can go to the uh, main uh, main trunk and go to spine and you can actually roll it so rolling will change the direction of the curve the car mode now go to spine again so noise is like reduce the amount this is it tur turbulence Uh, that is good. Um, so we got some shape here, nice uh, bends and turns. So next, next thing uh, I want to do is I'll be adding some branches to it. So to the main so main trunk, I'll click on it uh, and just just go to add geometry to circuit, then use uh, branch tubes. So in this case, I'm not not going to use this default. You know, that looks very bad. Uh, so this is a branch. Is, the name branch is good. Then go to gen, uh, gen, uh, gen tab. Then change this mode to absolute. So, I'm, so I'll get so I'll get more control over how many branches I need. So I just keep it as one for now. And under boundaries, uh, I just play around with it. So the first one I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So I'm thinking about keeping a branch, getting a branch right here, going like that. And another branch like this going like this, another branch going like this, and uh, and we can actually end the number of branches. Uh, maybe we can have another small one here. So that's that's the plan. So for this branch also, uh, go to UV, change to U U locked. So let that give a nice blend between this and this. The telling will be perfect. Now uh, start start angle, move up slightly, and. This can have a bigger radius. So go to skin. Under skin, so that is where you say, set the radius. Uh, increase the percentage of parent a little, little, little bit. So there's a maximum, like you can't go beyond one. So one is like uh, almost match, matching to the parent. Like if you want to be more than that, you will have to change it in the um, curve. So double click on this so you can focus. Um, and what I want to do is, I want to get a nice blend between this branch and this one. So let's go to wireframe and see density is good. Uh, the, the only thing I need is the uh, this nice blend. So holding V on the keyboard and moving the less left mouse button will rotate the light. So here I need a nice blend, a nice uh, curve. So what I'll do is I'll weld this one and the, this this branch to the main trunk. So go into uh, skin again. There is something called welding. So enable it. So by the way, when I when I enable it, like this branch gets uh, stuck on the other one, and it gives a nice texture blend here. So I need to increase the number of uh, number of you know 
edges where 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 both intersect so increase the spread amount at the bottom increase the upper scale so you can give a nice uh, blend between these two now if you look from the side angle i'm getting a nice nice blend here you can actually increase the blend texture so this is a zero uh, this is like very sharp and this will give a nice, very uh, soft so like, play with it uh, you have to find that uh, that perfect spot to get that nice blending so that branch is now attached to this main 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 trunk now i can just play around with the the angle so if i need more angle i can actually have it uh, also uh, keep keep playing around with the texture blending uh, now think about like uh, i don't need this this much length so i can just you know, just make it a little bit shorter you can use this directly on the viewport now that looks very straight so the um, so the best way to fix that is by going into spine and just like the just like the way we got the shape we're going to change the noise so early and late so late sorry early and early slightly not not too too, uh, too much increase the turbulence a little bit so you can get a natural shape in it so even even you can adjust the curve to get more variation Uh, you have to play around with it to get a nice um, whichever way you want it so next 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 one is like i'll add another branch here uh, starting from here so i can actually copy and paste this one Control c Control v i get a branch attach that to the main branch now it is just overlapping this one so go to gen tab and roll it roll to the other side and just increase the first so you got that branch right there so this branch uh i think uh, i can actually increase the length so our, our plan is our plan is uh we need to have uh, some leaves like going like this here and there, there's a gap in between then there'll be one and the branch going here so I can have another alpha card here. Then I'll have another branch going here. So I'll have one alpha card here. Then, then this part will be another alpha card. So, so I'll have more scope to add more branches if I want in the future here, or maybe a, a small uh, extension here like, like that. Like there are so many things I can do on this. Uh, then change the way this is angled, or if you want to change the noise, because these two look like they are mirror, uh so uh going to uh going to spine and play around with the late and uh, early noise so just just change the noise or change the curve so that's the best way to do it change the curve make make this go down so 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 you can have a different uh pattern of noise so just uh bring it down slightly uh, increase the turbulence and increase the noise a little bit so we can have a very crooked shape of uh, branch same thing uh, i'm thinking of another branch here a, a smaller one um, maybe this can have a little bit of you know, angle to it like that uh, and another way to do the branch is like go into spine so most of the most controls are in the under spine tab uh, then you have gravity so bring it slightly down you can actually move it like up or down whichever way you want so gravity also affects um, based on this uh, this curve over here so if i increase the gravity to 0 0.05 and if i take this curve and this is actually this is close to the trunk and and this is away from the trunk so if i increase this ma amount so the the part that is close to the trunk is getting the gravity effect so right now i don't want to do that i just uh, keep this as zero so so it was as as before right now 
so that is the second second uh, branch then i'll have another branch here going up i'll use the same branch here control c control v paste and go to gen tab roll it and just increase the last or first whichever you want because there's only one one branch so it doesn't matter much so keep everything like uh, like side base like a 2d picture so we can actually have nice uh, blending and lift this branch up if you want or keep it the same so this branch size is like yeah, at all getting getting i mean i mean the branch radius is getting adjusted autom automatically because that is based on its uh, its parent radius because we set the skin as percentage of pa parent right now so it is set as one so it will keep the parent size and keep it slightly lower than that so you can move it anywhere you want now for this branch i will just go into spine and adjust the noise slightly uh, just the turbulence a little bit because like if you keep the turbulence as, uh, as too high uh, you, you'll get kind of kind of too much of noise in it and adjust the um, curve slightly to get a more variation to it Not that much okay that is good so you're getting a kind of uh, you know nice effect in the branch so that is what i did for 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 this for the original one if i hide all the leaves and branches up to here you can see you can see the, the, this is the first uh first first stage i did so this is the first stage uh, that's, that's a secondary branch so i just hide that one um yeah so so for me i made a I, I made this branch a little bit longer and this one is a bit shorter compared to the one we did here so each each branch will be different like you cannot perfectly match with the other one uh, and for this trunk i'll keep the top a little bit sharper i mean smaller and the radius so keep the radius as like go to the curve radius curve and keep it slightly lower at the top so like that will give it a nice that nice uh, branch look save it now we, now we added the first set of branches now i'm going to add the secondary set of branches like we, we might need something like more branches to get a a, a better blend so maybe I could have one more branch here, uh, another branch here, maybe one here or here. I don't know. I have to. I have to try it out because I cannot say it from here how many branches I need. Like this, maybe. Yeah, could be. Let's try that. So, from from this branch, I will uh, again go to geometry selected uh, branch tubes. So right now it is coming as uh, as three. I go to gen, change the interval to absolute, just like we did for the other branch. Now uh, under skin, change the percentage of parent to one. So like it will it will fit to the maximum size possible and uh, bring it uh, down slightly uh, we'll roll it to the top and check the wireframe it is good yeah that is good uh, now and the uv uh, change to u locked and that will perfectly uh, tile now just uh, bring this up slightly like this, such as angle, and go into so going to, sorry uh, skin, weld enabled. Let me check the perspective. The perspective is basically like really good to get that close-up look for everything. That is uh, that is good for now. Increase the texture. 
blend don't try to this one error spread upper scale okay now go to the side side viewport now for this branch i need some noise uh, same thing we did for go to spine uh, under early uh, slightly and turbulence for the late amount guess it and slight turbulence here length maybe i can just reduce it slightly uh, rotate roll to the other side so that should be perfect for that branch. So I think you get the idea what I'm thinking. And now we can have another branch maybe coming out of here down because there's some empty space here. We can have a branch coming down here. So we use the same same branch. Control C, Control V. Uh, so we get a copy of this one. So we'll attach this to this node. Uh, we already have have a nice branch there, but uh i think that is good that we don't have to change anything that is good so the first uh, thing that came looks okay for now so i'm not going to change it i just keep it there as is and now we have more scope for adding a branch uh, maybe over here uh same thing control c control v so this is the main main trunk so it has this branch to here so I usually, uh, what I usually keep is like this are uh, this is main main trunk first level, then second level level is the second level of trunk uh, brand branches, and it's the third level of branches. So you can have a better organized uh, node. So this one is kind of here. I don't want it to be here. I want it to be right here at the top. So Select this, select this branch, and uh, under general parameters, just mm, just move the last here to there, just like that, and reduce the length to somewhat like that, and increase the angle. This angle is okay, um, but if you want to change it in the future, you can do it. Right now, it is fine. Uh, there's something looking weird here. So I think it is a problem with the spine rotation. So just roll it and see if it gets fixed. If it doesn't, uh, you have to look up at the angle. So the gen, just keep moving it up slightly. That's okay, I think. Yeah, go to side, side uh, X, X5 plane. So we are there, this is the XC plane. Can have one more one branch here as as we thought maybe uh, something here uh, i can just reduce the gravity on this gravity is a bit too much yeah so uh, we, are, we are also go a uh, gravity negative so, so if you go negative the branch will go up so this is a good way to get a nice branch extra branch here uh, select this uh, copy paste and paste to this one. And then rotate it, same same steps. Rotate it and just move it uh, up slightly. Now I think that is perfect. So we got a nice, uh, nice branch base for uh, adding the leaves into it. So, uh, so uh, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, you can have a, like it doesn't matter how dense that the, the branch is now if you look at the triangle count just for this small branch it is 7200 triangles so this 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 cannot be used in a in a game as is but uh, but for this this um, branch we'll be using only the texture so so we just bake it as as a flat texture and take it into designer and, and, and export the final texture for use in the game. So don't worry about the mesh density. This, this branch can have a bit of, uh, the tip can be a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's it. Now next part is to start adding uh, the stem.